to six. The four. How are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. You're potatoes. We do. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Yeah, I have Good. to say that's pretty idiotic. Down, only. Just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless. Well, wow, four thousand. Do you think you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. My friend. Is that Hoopy the Hoop? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think it's Hoopy the Hoop. Hoopy the Hoop isn't no a nobody. He's a somebody. Just guessing we have to go this way. Yeah, we do. Okay. Pretty nice area. I have to say, the reflections and all. This game, it's got a really nice water. It's just that their um, lighting system could be a bit better. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, friend? things there. Okay, well, apparently we can do this from a distance. Speeds up the video, I guess. Do not enter. Keep out. Keep out. Sneezes, how professional. We all know how this works. Look how tiny we look from up there. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Let's, uh, let's get out and get a better view of this. Tiny door. <laughs> it's a tiny door with a giant vault. How dumb. Thank you. 
Um, I'm gonna stop recording here just quickly to check um, file space. Okay, um, I think we've got enough space. I hope so. If we don't, I'll have to um, stop again. I don't know, just say I'll be back. I'll sound probably sound different. Probably sound more awake. Might make some uh, different types of jokes. Might make the same jokes I've made already. So this is all being recorded in one session here. Um, okay. So this is stuff. 1952. Right, I wonder. More doors here, I want to see. What do they do? Notice. Experiment discontinued. This chamber is 1 to 200. Underground train to test shafts 1 to 08. Okay. Who is globes? What are they for? Some globes sitting around smelling of being useless. Okay, this way. Welcome, gentlemen, to Aperture Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you want to get one another on the little one right over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Kay Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. She is married to science. Best quote of the day. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Runner up. That's funny. I like this old and rusted f uh, thing. Oh, we're here. Cool. Cool. Push. Whoa. Go over there. Alpha. Oh, yeah, I, I know what we gotta do. I know what we gotta do. I forgot all about this. Okay. So we gotta touch that, you know. First, I wanna go there. Um, like this. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. Okay. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. 
Worst case of tumors, which we'll cut out. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. Okay, you're a madman. Just, just thought you should know that. Station Alpha. No, your other gens. Other gens. Other gen. What? 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 Hazardous materials. Chemical hazards. Doors, I'm guessing we have to go up there since there's an obvious sign that we do have to go up there. Um, hmm. There we go. Safety first. Together we can make 1956. Lowest unexpected casualty Anon ever. Okay. Okay, it's pretty uh They say yeah. great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. Not here. At Aperture we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. No hand holding. Should we go get from this? Poison gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pu pudding substitute. It's true. The gel is a sweeter, sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested items to be bounced off the living into lining of the dieter's distended bouncing his stomach and puts him always in the mouth and for various reasons his product was pulled from the shelves for more information consult the following fact place cards placards have to cite fact placard number blah 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 and fact placard blah 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 okay um boom like, okay, stop. Let's, let's stop being in the story quickly. Sorry if I'm ruining your immersion, but like, be it would be so cool to be able to have olden day things in um, in the regular Portal 2 map making thing. So we need that. So here's the basic explanation of bouncy gel. It bounces you. Very um, simple explanation. Just 
think how cool it would be to have buttons. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> I love you, Cave Johnson. Test next test chambers this way. Let's go this way. No, let's not go that way. Um, up there, and then around here. Uh, this way. No, it definitely looks like I should be going this way. The hell is the purpose of all this? Just a useless room. Wait, what's it? What is the windows looking at? How would you like to work here? How boring all this is. My god. Make some better viewing places in your work environment now. Hmm. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If, if you, you sat, sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing, wearing lead underpants, we, we took, took care, care of that too. too. Um... Sounds... Good? Not really. I don't know. Sounds quite bad, actually. This is where science comes in. I did it. Um, can we? wonder if we could like fall onto that or something. Nah, it's probably invisible hitboxes that normally is in these games. What's his uh, simple dimple? Okay, I wouldn't have made that, so I stopped moving. Crap. Still didn't make it. Maybe I should just go on first time this time. I can make it, yeah. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Okay, sounds, uh, pretty good. science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. God, I love the character of this cave. Cave Johnson, just so good, so good. <sighs> what do we have to do here? I always get lost at this bit every single time. 
Okay, no portable staff. There we go. Did it. I won the game. Portable, I guess. Portable? Maybe. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. What a terrible, terrible character and amazing. Okay, let's spread the room a bit now. Uh, maybe not. Over, maybe we haven't done it enough over here. Actually, uh, let's see. Do you need to do it here? Damn it! I thought I wasn't up, but I was. Okay, one there and one there. Yay. Hmm. Actually, this is wrong. What do we have to do now? Oh, 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 oh. I see. Wait, why isn't that Joe here? What? What is this madness you speak of? Oh, have we got to jump from that? Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Okay. Here we go. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. <laughs> well, thank you for telling me about it. I guess. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Uh, yep. I need to make a comment on that. We need to disable that. Looks like this is how you disable that. These tests are a bit um, primitive. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. What's the point of doing that? I need to launch out of there, but... Oh, wait. Am I overthinking this? Yeah, I am. Oh, no, I did need it. Okay. White gel. Blue gel. C. 
safety first. Accidents hurt. You will be hurt. Co-workers. Don't endanger others. The company. Replacements are costly. Investigators. Impede progress. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Um, we need the goop. Looks uh looks solid. Yay, I did it. I won the game. What are we meant to do when we're up here? Huh? Did I miss a memo? No, wait, that's where I came in, isn't it? I'm sure that is. Oh, up here, I guess. How's the meant to... Uh, badly you're you're this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm up beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use a word, though. Now let's solve this thing. Oh, I love bouncy cubes. I didn't think that would actually work. It shocked me a bit. Oh. Wait, is there something else I have to do? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I got ya. No. Wrong one. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not merely say science that they love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that will keep you on the bus on the way out? Because you are fired! Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you! Box your stuff out, out the front, front door. Parking, parking lot. Car. Goodbye. I don't need to say it again, but I love Cat Johnson. contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. No, oh, I'm meant to do things now. Oh, I was having fun just... Listening to your amazing voice. It's the exit, but is there things up here? It looks like there is, but that's probably for future. That's the exit again.
Pump station beta. This game's out of beta now. to there. To do that we need to shoot a portal there while we're in midair here. I did it. I'm good. I like the colour coming from this. That's nice. was right we had we did have to come here oh aperture greetings friend i'm cave johnson ceo of aperture science you might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 senate hearings on missing astronauts and you've most likely used one of the many products we invented but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us black mesa can eat my bankrupt sir the testing right now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. No, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't, don't smudge, smudge up the glass down, down there. In, In fact, fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's a test related. Okay. Sounds good. Um. Moon. Old computer. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. We got it. I'm gonna go through the um, aperture here. Of course, I jumped, which ruined the whole thing about, you know. Yay! Oh, that was a failure. That's as high as we can maybe make it lower. Will that work? No, that just. That just. You are kidding me, right? Oh wait, now I can, um, I can get back. It's no problem. Are these higher? I don't know, because... Oh wait, down there. I am dumb. Okay, so that's this. And... Oh my god. It's incredibly annoying. Did it? Oh hi. Say, you're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Oh. Oh. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move. And unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. No tricks. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. Picked you up. You happy? Oh, 
Why did you don't incinerate even though you made of organic matter? How'd you explain that, huh? Game makers?